Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we are in the state of Colorado. We're in the city of Denver. We're going to be doing a driving tour of a neighborhood called Five Points. Right now, we're at the intersection of Curtis and 19th. The 1900 block of 19th Street and the 1000 block of Curtis. It's 51 degrees outside right now. We're supposed to get a high today of about 68. On my right hand side, we have the United States Courthouse. On my left hand side, we have an open lot fenced off with chain link fence that looks like it may be the location of a future construction. We're about four minutes away from our desired destination of the Five Points neighborhood. We're exiting downtown. It looks like Five Points could be near the downtown area. We just passed 19th Street. We're now approaching 20th Street. We have the 20th Street Gymnasium on our left. And we got the United States Post Office on our right hand side. We're gonna merge to the right side. We got the fire trucks on our left. We're approaching 21st Street. We're at 21st and Curtis. We got an office and warehouse for lease on our left. We just passed. Curtis Street Commons on our right. We're gonna merge left. We got Classics Autos Storage and Repair Building on our left hand side. And then we're gonna be making a left hand turn coming up right here. Gonna be careful, we got a lot of bumps. On our left, we have an Enterprise rental car. On our right, we have a value add real estate building. We got a nice mural on our right. Love this city, Denver. You see, it's a giant heart, and then it says, Love this city, Denver. I think that I'm on the wrong lane. I'll be completely honest with you guys. It looks like I'm on the wrong lane. We're at Lawrence, Broadway and Lawrence. We got the Denver Firefighters Protective Association on my right hand side. On my left hand side across the street, we have two gentlemen sitting at what looks to be like the bus stop. We have something that looks like some abstract art on my right. It looks like a shipping container going into the ground. I see a blue shipping container and I see a red shipping container. But the way they're designed, it looks like they're made to go into the ground. I see graffiti on the electrical box on my left hand side across the street next to the dumpster or the little waste bin next to where those gentlemen are sitting at. I see a bunch of graffiti. See that on my right, you see the shipping containers? They were going into the ground. All right, I'm going to all right, slow down here first thing. We got Granada fish on our right hand side. On our left, we got Snarf's sandwiches. And the gentleman that was walking by having a conversation on the phone, the gentleman across the street is texting on the phone. I see Benjamin Moore paints directly in front of us. This pink building on our left is the Snarf's sandwich building. We got two people, two pedestrians walking past Snarf's, a female and a male. We got their bus directly in front of us. Regional Transportation District of Denver. That's what their bus looks like. So we're in the Five Points neighborhood right now as we speak. We're going to begin to explore Five Points just to see what the area looks like to get a real world idea. This Honda Pilot on my right, it sounds like they cut his catalytic converter off. Either that or he has a giant hole in the muffler because it's pretty loud. All right, I'm going to try to get out of this, this lane so I can like eventually turn off to a surrounding block. Some nice artwork on my left and on my right. I'm going to merge right on Blake. And look it. There's another. Um, you see that shipping container artwork on my left? That's a shipping container. Yo, that's several shipping containers. 
That is crazy. Y'all see that? That's amazing. All right, we're at 26. I think I'm going to make this right. We're at 26 in Blake. Let's make this right, and let's begin our journeys here. So it looks like we have luxury apartments on our left. We have a building with some art on our right. On our left, we got Lee Jane's Hot Chicken. It's a kitchen on our left. We're at Walnut, 26 in Walnut. We got Patagonia on our left. I believe that's the Patagonia brand. A female on our right with a gorgeous dog. Fantastic looking dog going into that building. There's a stop sign for us, but there's no stop sign for them. So I'm going to be cautious. I don't want to drive directly into traffic. All right, looks like we can cross. All right, we're going to cross. Look at the murals on my right. Really nice paintings. Looks like of giant flowers. On our left, we got more murals too. Lustre, Denver, Pearl. First draft. What is this building? It looks like an eatery. Tap room and kitchen. Yep. We have a female across the street here with a pink bag. Ah, uh, we got somebody with a nice older Enduro uh, motorcycle that just drove by us. I'm going to allow this vehicle to pass us. We're at Larimer, the 1300 block of Larimer. We have artwork on my left and on my right. I'm talking about some beautiful artwork. The one on my left is dope. Look at this one on my left where the gentleman walking by. I really like that. That was nice. I would have loved to take a picture. Wow, there's a female over here. Nice picture of a female. There's a lot of art in this neighborhood thus far from what we've seen. There was a scooter laying right there next to that lady's SUV. She thought she was warming up her car to leave. If she don't pick up that scooter before she leaves, she's going to run it over. We're at 26 in Lawrence. We had a little tent. Wow, an encampment of a bunch of tents out there, guys. Let's spin the block. Let's spin the block and see what's going on there because we're right near downtown, and there's a whole encampment right around the corner from downtown. We're at Arapaho, 26 in Arapaho. I can't go right because it's a detour. Shucks. All right, let's go straight. We're at 26 and Arapaho. 26 and Arapaho. We got some homes on our left. One story, two story homes. This looks like it's residential. A rental bike on my right hand side on the ground. Let's make this right on Curtis. There's the detour. We're going to make a right on Curtis. And then we'll make another right. And then we'll make another right in two blocks. Key. You see the downtown skyline? That's how you can tell this neighborhood is close to downtown. Montessori Academy of Colorado. Now we got a detour on my right. I'm going to make a right here. Road closed ahead. Hold on. Let me see how far ahead is it closed because I don't want to go through it. If it's not. All right, cool. Yeah. I just didn't want to go through this block and it was going to send us somewhere else. Look at these row homes on our right, guys. Look at these buildings. They're brick homes. Holy smokes, guys. Look at these row homes. Look at these row homes. You see on my right? They're not like the traditional flat face row home. Oh, we got tents on our left too, y'all. That's crazy. University prep on our left. We're at 25th and Arapaho. Now we're passing Lawrence on our right. It looks like... Yo, there's a greenhouse. Yo, they're growing Mary Jane up there on the second floor. Whoa. You can see the whole grow up from the window, bro. Yo, there's buds up there beyond belief. Yo, we're right here at 25th and Lawrence in Denver, Colorado. Uchi, the building's called U-C-H-I. Oh, I should have went there. I bet I'm going to make a U-turn. I'm going to make this wacky U-turn. Yo, this building right here. Yo, look up there. That's a green room up there. Yo, either those plants look remarkably close to Bud, <laughs> to Mary Jane, or what. But it looked like from, from, from the start to the finish process. Yo, because you know it's um, recreational here. In the state of Colorado, it was one of the first to be passed recreationally. But, to my knowledge, Colorado is still medical only but like other areas like Pueblo Trinidad and here where we're at Denver specifically is recreational so if you're 21 or older you can walk into a dispensary and purchase it legally
Look on our left. This is a little encampment right across the street from the Ava building on our right. Look, there's a brand new building on our right, and we got tents on our left. Looks like a whole block, guys. Wow. I didn't expect to come down here and see this. You want to go by me? Go ahead. Because they beeped at me as if they wanted to go by me, so they're more than welcome to go by me. They could have did what I did. They could have went around me, but I made it easier for them. All right, we're at 27 for Lawrence. I'm going to make this left-hand turn following this mural right here, beautiful mural, laundry. You see the laundry spot? It had a nice mural of a female with green hair. She had green hair, pretty cool. A little art all across the building on my right-hand side. Art, art, art everywhere. What I mean is dominated by art. Look at, wow, I'm actually going to go through this alley. The alley drove me in with all the artwork. Ah, oh, look at this, guys. What a what a what a beautiful little uh, alley. Hold on, let me back up just to make sure that this picture is on the beam. I'm taking a picture for the Toon Be Chilling Instagram. Let me try to get it outside the vehicle because I keep getting my um, dashboard. Right, let's go forward. Wow, look at this alley, guys. This alley is filled with art. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, the magnitude of, of colors. Look, look at the characters. This is neat, y'all. This is a real nice find. An accidental find, as y'all could see. Look on my right. They got Bob Marley painted with a lion. The artist is at underscore crystal with a K, cook. With an E at the end of cook. Crystal cook. Nice work, man. Wow, that was cool. All right, uh, we got some people over here sitting outside in the alley. Let's let's go one more block forward and just see what these people are up to that's sitting outside on the alley right here. It look like these are um, homes right here on my left too. The, what, what this painting is on. Wow, we got people sitting out here, guys. Just sitting outside in the alley. What's up, sir? She was burning something. I smell fire. The mission, Volunteers of America on our right. Look, there's a cinder block right in the middle of the road. And look, there's a bunch of clothes on our right. It looks like, I don't know if those are for sale or if they're for free. And they try to help people who are not as fortunate. We're next to the Barcelona on our left. It looks like it could be a potential restaurant. Let's make this right-hand turn. And again, look at this building on the corner. It looks like a brick row home style building with, with uh, graffiti all over it. We're at 29th and Lawrence. Let's go up one more block, make a right, make a right, and then come back down the main avenue. Look at these buildings on our left and our right. These look like apartments. Vinyl siding, three-story, an A-style crown on the rooftop, shingles on the rooftop. We had somebody that looked like they were moving in. I see a Home Depot box, and she was carrying in her box. I don't know if she just moved into one of these apartments. I'm going to make this right-hand turn on Arapaho. 29th and Arapaho. I got the mixture of housing, flat top, row style building. Then we got separated buildings on our left. Then we got apartments on our right. We got the village at Curtis Park on our right. Now leasing, a little playground on our right. Lakewood Plumbing and Heating LLC van on our left. We have some nice looking buildings mixed up, mixed up buildings. We had a Colorado flag hanging on their porch on our left. We're at 28th and Arapaho. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. There's an e-scooter standing by itself on the corner. We got a gentleman on my right-hand side with a bucket and one of those tongs. He's picking up uh, trash. He's keeping the neighborhood clean. We got a wheelchair on my right-hand side. Is there anybody in the wheelchair? No, there's nobody in the wheelchair. I wonder if that's his, like, little um, hustle. We're at 28th and Lawrence. Like, does he sit at a corner in the wheelchair 
as if he needs assistance, but he's pushing his own wheelchair when nobody's looking. I don't know. I don't know what's the deal with that, but. All right, th- we came out of the alley on our left, and we went to the alley on our right. There, there's a church on our left, so we drove right behind the church. We're going to continue going straight. Yo, graffiti and artwork all over this neighborhood, y'all. There's somebody out here. She's painting her building pink. Her, the, the paint she's using matches her sneaks. I love Colorado. Wow, what a nice mural. So as normal, guys, we're um, capturing behind the scenes for those of you guys who are new to the channel. For the tune, be chilling behind the scenes. I'm going to make a little U-turn right here just so that you guys can see the artwork that's over here. This block is closed off, but I came over here so you guys can see the amount of artwork that is on this block. Like, Look at this building right here with this kid on my left. Look at that building on my left. That's such a neat piece of artwork. This building over here on my left there's a picture of what looks to be like a cartoon kid. But the thing is, is that it's done on like segments. I can't even get a clear picture of it. You see right here on my left? You see that kid's face? It's done on different segments. You see how it disappears as we drive closer? That's some neat, op- neat optical illusion artwork. Look at this gigantic spray can dude up here. Yo, there's graffiti everywhere, bro. This I actually like this neighborhood. This neighborhood is very, very colorful. The amount of art. It's like they embrace it here. And they just, you know, I guess a lot of these look like they were um, asked for permission. A, a lot of this is legal. Wow. They wrote George Floyd right here. A good person. This artwork right here, you see? Wow. And they got um, the dining tables right in the street. Look at right in the middle of the street. They crazy with it. Right in the middle of the street, they got the dining tables, huh? That is incredible, guys. Right, let's keep on going straight. See that building right there in front of us? That's where the kid's face was painted. You can't see it now because we're going the opposite way. But if you go in reverse, you can see the kid's face. That was probably one of the coolest pieces of artwork I've seen in a long time. That's so neat. And over here inside this lot, there's a ton more artwork. Oh, I can't go through the lot. I was really about to go through the lot, but I can't because there's there's no entrance there. All right, we got the female on my right-hand side. She's painting her building, the ground floor salon. That's probably her salon. All right, we're at 28th and Larimer. Look at artwork all around us. Spectacular, I'm telling you. Look at the art. You got some, like, Asian art right here. You see it with the flowers and all that, with the female's face. You guys see the female's face? I don't know if you can see the female's face. And then on my right, the alley. I got to go through these alleys. These alleys are looking vicious. Holy smokes. This alley is dope. Look at this. Wow. Look at the artwork, y'all. Look at the dumpsters. Now, these are legal pieces and legal murals. All you got to do is ask for permission. They didn't do this illegally. Some of it is illegal. You can tell, like the like the tags on the poles and stuff, and not even maybe give or take, because they could be out here painting here and then they'll go behind and do some test sprays on a pole. But this stuff on the left side, a lot of this is legal. All you got to do is knock on the door, show the business owner your little portfolio of artwork. Say, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. Um, may I please put a mural on the back of your building? This is what it could look like. Show them your portfolio. Show them your work. And a lot of the times they'll agree. Look at my right. Man. Incredible, right? We got an Asian gentleman walking towards us. We got some um, carports on our right. Oh my gosh. See, I'm into the arts. So seeing all of this inspires me. It's a nice area to take pictures. It's a nice area to take, I don't know, a photo shoot or like, um, you could do like a music video here. Behind me, they got a cool Transformers mural. Oh man, let me let me make a wacky U-turn. I'm gonna make one of these wacky U-turns. There's a Transformers mural, guys. Look at that. Hold on, I'm gonna try to not only take a wacky U-turn, but I'm gonna try to snap a picture of this Transformers mural. Cause this is nice. Look at this, you see? That is neat. I like the themes when they do those themes and they pick like a character and then they do the theme around it. All right, we're at Walnut. 
29th of Walnut. I'm sorry about the artistic uh, de detours, guys. It's, it's everywhere. I'm looking left. I'm looking right. I see graffiti everywhere. So, look it. Color me lucky. Triumph. That's the Triumph motorcycle business. Triumph is a brand of a motorcycle. I'm going to make this left on Walnut Street. Ducati, Triumph. Those are all motorcycles. Design Right Studios on the left. Revzilla on our right. Oh, we got a Ninja Turtle artwork coming up. Look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. Oh, that is dope. Look at that. Ninja Turtles. That's fire. They had the pig, too, from Ninja Turtles. Volcon E Power Sports on our left. Brewing Company on our right. We're at 28th. The 2800 block of 28th Street. 28th and Walnut. All right, we're gonna con we're, we're gonna allow this, this this gentleman to cross the street. He has the right of way. We have a female that's that she's painted naked on this um, on this front porch on my left, and there's a skeleton right next to her. She doesn't have a top on. Wow, they're showing the full nine. Like that was uh, like a like a detailed um, artwork. <laughs> Man, the amount of artwork here, y'all. Look at this whole avenue is filled with art. We're at 27th, 27th and Walnut. 27th and Walnut. Dental Orthodontics on our left. Digitique on our left, a, a digital boutique, wow. Matthew Moore Salon and Skincare on our left. E-Bike Source on our left. Four Leafs on our right. 10 Barrel Brewing Company on our left. Patagonia, Park Burger on our right. William Matthews on our left. Creative Studios on our right. More Creative Studios on our left. There's a lot of creative space here. I guess this is probably where the artists flock to in the area. Let's make this right back on Broadway. And then we're going to try to... We already went through this block with the shipment containers. I'm gonna make a right once again just because I want to snap a picture of these shipping containers over here on my left. Snap one more picture. I'm trying to snap a picture of the shipping containers, guys. Please bear with me. All right, we're at 26. 26 in Blake. Let's let's take this straight down a few blocks. We got a baseball on our left. I see the Denargo Market. Look at these buildings on my right. They're row buildings. The first floor is made out of brick. Second and third floor has vinyl siding. They have a little staircase that goes upstairs. The second floor has a balcony. Like a little porch, a balcony. I think that's the correct term, a balcony. We're at 27 from Blake. They, they look like relatively modern build buildings. Let's keep going straight. Yeah, those buildings on my right look modern. The ones on my left look modern, too. They look like an apartment on our left. Artwork on our right. You see the artwork? It's black and white. Look at these two females on our right having a conversation, smiling. Madura River North, right in front of us on our right. Art is a building on our left called Art. Madura River North on our right. I think Madero River North is a condominium or luxury apartment. We got a brewery on our left. We're going to continue traveling forward. Tons and tons of art on my right. I'm talking about, let me slow down. I got a lot of cars behind me, or a car, I should say. Man, this neighborhood is a graffiti haven, for real, for real. Graffiti haven. It spans several plus blocks. Look at this mural coming up. She has antlers, guys. The female on that wall has antlers. Look up directly in front of us. On my right-hand side, there's a wall with a female painted on it. There's antlers on her. 
Look at my right. There's a rainbow painting on the corner where that guy's walking by. We're passing 31st. Look on our left. Looks like luxury buildings. Then we got the female with the antlers right here in front of us on our right. You see up? Look up. Look up. Look up. You see her? She has antlers. I smell Mary Jane. Did we pass another dispensary? <laughs> All right, let's make this right on 32nd Street. We we got an e-scooter. A genuine rough house. Yeah, boy. Yeah, he had a genuine rough house 50. He had an RH50 scooter. I got one of them. That's the Jones I'll be willing. Man, these alleys on my left and my right got graffiti everywhere, guys. I'm going to go through the alley. Am I allowed to go through this alley? No. It's closed off. What a shame. That's disappointing. I'm going to go right. Yeah, he had a genuine rough house, boy. That's what I got. 50cc scooter. That John chilling back in Philly. This is what it looks like when a neighborhood embraces art. When they don't go against art, but they embrace art. I don't know about you, but this Ali looks a lot safer to walk through than an alley without the artwork. It, this looks very inviting. It's very welcoming. Oh, snap. Minus that. What was that? A bottle? Alright. You make me eat my words, right? But anyway, this looks very inviting. Look at that little evil face right here on the pole. Look at this little evil creature right here on the pole. You see him? He kind of looked like Freddy Krueger's cousin. Yo, look at that little evil, that evil goblin dude. Why he looks so evil like that? What's his ear say? Stone? Wow. I smell... Yo, I smell as strong as ever. Yo, what are we next to? Is, oh, there's more grow houses? Are we like passing grow houses or something? Like, y'all hear me? Sniffing? It smells so potent and so strong. Oh, we did. Oh, there's a dispensary right here next to us. Rhino Dispensary Company. Explains a lot. Was it Rhino or did it say something else? Yo, that's crazy. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Wow, that was crazy. Artwork, all oh, I'm all right. Yeah, boy, I like it. Lodo Massage Studio. We just passed a massage studio. We got the walnut room on our left, music, pizza, spirits on our left, the Yoda yard on our right, a blank on our right with, with a C, B-L-A-N-C, structural engineer building on our left, improper city on our left, we're at 32nd and Walnut, I'm going to walk one, well not walk, <laughs> I'm going to drive one more block forward, I, I think I said walk because I saw the lady walking, I was going to say there's a female walking on the left hand side, does she got a slice of pizza? Hold on. She, yeah, she had a slice of something in her hand. Climbing plus fitness. Movement. There's a business called Movement on our left. I think it's a fitness building. We got the dry ice factory in front of us on our right-hand side. It looks like they just demolished the building on our left. I'm going to make a right on 33rd Street. All right, cool. So we're going to make... Let's make this right down Larimer. And let's try to do some up and down. Now, I know in the beginning I kind of got reared off because look at this art everywhere. Look at it. There's a giant line painted on that wall. Then behind that wall on the next block, there's two roosters fighting. Or in this case, I guess it's called a cockfight. Let's make this right hand turn. We're on 33rd and Larimer. I'm going to make this right. We got factory distributors, tool safety equipment, and Carhartt clothing on our left. I'm going to make this right. We got scooters on our right hand side. Partners in crime on our left. Female has so much things in her hand. I've seen so many females today just carrying out so many objects. I feel like telling them, like, you need help? You got Camden Reno on our right. The Infinite Monkey Theorem on our left. Urban Winery. We had a gentleman that was sitting right there on the bench. It looked like he was talking to himself. We had 30 second Larimer. Mr. Oso, tacos, smoke shop, and more. Wow, you can eat tacos and smoke at the same time for all you taco smokers out there. <laughs> taco loving smokers. Look at this mural. That's fly. The artwork is dope. Brought to you by Pandora. Pat Milbury. At Pat Milbury was the artist. Urban element tattoo on our left. Graffiti on our right. Graffiti on our left. There's a sign that reads slow here. 
I'm gonna make a left here because we went on the next block, so we're not gonna go through the same block that we just went through. Remember in the beginning we kind of made some detours following the artwork. I'm going to turn away. Beautiful dog. I love that dog. There's a lot of dog walkers around here too. And they don't have regular dogs. They be having like exotic dogs. Let's make this left hand turn around 31st and Lawrence. Turn on Lawrence. It looks like we got some new dwellings over here on my left hand side. Some modern style dwellings. Either they were renovated, rehabilitated, or made from scratch. They look more like they were probably rehabilitated. CRV on our left-hand side, first generation, with a roof rack. Boy, do I miss mines. I really do. We got a set of new buildings on our left. We're at 32nd and Lawrence. We're going to go forward one more block. Right, you're, you're more than welcome to go, buddy. You have the right of way. This is your neighborhood. I'm just a guest. I'm a visitor in your world. We had some low-level buildings over here on my left that looked like, could have been like, I don't know. I don't want to use the term, but you know how they say slum lords? They own a section of buildings, and they don't ever paint them up and keep them up to date. That's what it looked like right there. Look at these buildings on my left. These look modern. They're, they're row homes, but they're separated. They're separated probably six feet from each other. I'm going to maneuver the vehicle, use the vehicle as a tool so that you guys can see what I see. You see the front of the buildings? You see them? They look like really modern homes. Can you go on the roof? Yeah, there's a roof deck up top because I see patio furniture on this one on my right. So you can hang up on them roofs too. Look at these um, rental bikes. You see these rental bikes? They be just tipping them over. <laughs> they be laying everywhere throughout the city. That's kind of an eyesore after a while, seeing them everywhere. We're at 33rd and Lawrence. Look at that building across the street called Cuddle Soft. 33rd and Lawrence, Cuddle Soft. I'm going to go forward one more block. We're going to pass this little... It looks like an apartment complex on my right-hand side. I don't know if it's like a housing authority or if it's a private company that manages this property on my right, but it looks like an apartment complex. Can I, can I go through this? Can I go through this? Uh, nah, it's, it's all closed off. Why his dog looks so exotic? Why his dog looks so exotic and look like a regular dog, but the coat, the coat, like they be having like these cow-style coats, cow skin. We're at 34th and Lawrence. Like spots. Like if they're like a cookie and cream ice cream. You ever open up cookie and cream ice cream? You see a white ice cream with all these little black specks? That's how some of the dogs be looking. All right, we're near the borderline of the neighborhood. The borderline is Downing Street. That's on the next block. We're going to make a right on, Ar on Arapaho. Arapaho. <laughs> I still can't get over that that name, Arapaho. I'm about to Arapaho up. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we have what looks to be like apartments on our right. That's what it looks like. More artwork on the door on our left. I see carrots, I see vegetables. Whole Foods Market. Yeah, that might be related to a food bank or something. Or even a Whole Foods Market store, a local market store. We're at 33rd and Arapaho. Even on top of this building on my left, there was artwork right up top of it. Uh, they spray painted on, on my right, on that little miniature building. See, that's graffiti. That's that's like to the max. You see, what we just passed by, a lot of that legal stuff to me is art. I don't even call it graffiti, even though it derives from, you know, graph, from graph life. Pieces and burners and throw-ups and the lingo, the terminology, you know, can stem from graph. But classic on my right, classic on my left. I kind of want to document both. So I'm going to go right. I'm going to make a wacky U-turn. Look at this classic right here on my left. I'm going to make a U-turn so we can see it. A duster. My pop used to have one of them, John. Wow. My father used to have one of them back in the day. That thing is beautiful. Wow. My pop used to have one of these. You see this right here? This um, Plymouth duster. Woo. I remember getting pulled over by the police with them, and the police, you know, you would think they would give them a ticket, and they would ask them to see the car. <laughs> Sir, can we see your car? And I was a little boy, like five years old, sitting in the passenger side. And look at this one right here. Look, look, look at this Dodge. A Dart, a Dodge Dart. Ooh, I like that. A Dodge Dart. That's fantastic. Fantastico. All right, now let's bust another U-turn because we got to continue our route. I just made a little deep. Oh, snap. There's a little tent here, guys. Or it looks like the remains of a tent. 
Look at this modern building right here. 1027. We had another walker over here on our left walking their dog. 1027. This is 1027 32nd Street, Denver, Colorado. You guys could look at that property value to see what they sold that for. Because it looks like a new building. And directly at the end of this road, you see mountains up above. It looks fake. It looks like a fake scenery. We got a tennis court on the left. Two females on the right taking a walk. One is holding a coffee. And there was another classic inside the yard of this one. Whoever owns, they, they listen. All three of the classics that I just saw are owned by the same person. Because they're all parked in, within the same corner. So they probably just didn't park them all in front of the same house. <clears throat> but I believe the same person owns the dust there, owns the dart, and owns whatever was in that yard. All right, we're at 31st on Arapahoe. Look at these buildings on our left. Vinyl siding. Oh, the same one's on our right. Check it out. <clears throat> they have a little porch, an awning. It looks like a two and a half, three story. We have a raised roof. We have sidewalks, grass line sidewalks. One of the lawns look like AstroTurf. I'll be honest with you, all that look like AstroTurf. That's too green this this time of year. Super green. I think that was AstroTurf. Either that or they spray painted their lawn. <clears throat> We're at 30th and Arapahoe. Look at that building on the left. Look at that one right there. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to go around this whole circle so y'all so can see it. 2960. Is this Arapahoe? 2960. Ara that one right there. You see it? That looks so modern. 2960. Is it 30th or Arapahoe? I'm trying to figure out because I, I want y'all to look up the property value to that. Enterprise. Look at this building on the right. Enterprise. So it's probably 30th. The address is on this side, so it's probably a wrapper hole. <clears throat> that, but then again, it looks like it could be an apartment building because it got multiple entries. That one right there, that looks super modern. Modern. Modern beyond belief. 2960 Arapahoe, Denver, Colorado. That's the address. Look at these homes right here on my left. Again, the facade is completely different than what we've been seeing. Look at those three that are stuck together. You see those three with the whole flight of steps? You got to go up like 12 steps just to get to the front door. And they got a nice wood door. <clears throat> a nice wood door. We have two gentlemen on my right-hand side with royal blue shirts. That was my old uniform color right there. Middle school, khaki and royal blue when I was a kid. <clears throat> 29th and Arapahoe. Yeah, that was what we had to wear. Speaking of uniforms, I don't think they got uniforms here in Colorado because we saw some school students. And they appeared to be dressed normally. So I don't think they got a uniform pop policy. A little, little squirrel dude. Squirrel's about to cross the road. The village at Curtis Park. <laughs> Just told him to subscribe, turn on his notification bell. If not, I'm gonna have to come around and, and hit him with the pew, 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 pew. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, with nuts. We're at 28th and Arapahoe. All right, let's, let's take this another block forward. Yep, let's take this another block forward. For sale on our left. 2752 Arapaho, Denver, Colorado is for sale. If you guys want to buy a home or something. It looks like it's a row building, too. Look at it. See that gray building with the little porch? That was pretty nice. It's, 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 it's not bad. That's not a bad little property right there. I like the crown work. They, they painted the crown really well. It got weird windows. On the left side, it got a little teeny weeny skinny window behind the tree. And then on the right, it got the two normal windows, two-story home, bricks. It got a nice little um, porch, like a barricade. Not a barricade, like a barrier that, that protects you. It doesn't do much protection because you could just jump over it. But I like that property. 2752 Arapahoe, Denver, Colorado. Look, it's in walking distance from downtown. Yeah, a lot of interesting looking little buildings here. Look at this little block right here. This block, again, really close resemblance to row homes. We're at 27th and Arapahoe. Was Arapahoe the name of like an Indian or something? <clears throat> Look at 
Look, these buildings are on my left. You see them? And look at these on my right. The ones on my left are two-story. The ones on my right are three-story, damn near four-story. Wow, look at this on my left. Holy smokes. I want to park up right here. I got to take a picture of this, too. This property right here. Ironworks. Look at that right there. They have a, they have a what you call them. It's like a wolf outside. I'm about to try try to snap a picture. Let me move up a little further. That was nice. That was a nice little display they had going on there. It was an ironworks building, which is probably why they had an iron or a metal sculpture of a wolf sitting out front because the person who works with iron or metal there probably sculpted that themselves. We're at 26 on Arapahoe. We got two beautiful dogs over here with a pedestrian. She's walking with her child in the street in a stroller. I love them dogs. Nice looking little dogs. We got another alley over here on our left. It looks like a regular alley. Yeah, regular. And there's a car coming through. If not, I ought to try to go through it. All right, we're at Curtis. Let's make this left-hand turn on Curtis. 26 in Curtis. The neighborhood looks pretty clean. I don't really see, like, debris. Look at these buildings on my left. They're three windows wide. Look at that burgundy one. I'm loving the burgundy. That burgundy one is nice. It's burgundy <clears throat> with, like, a charcoal, black, charcoal gray accent with some burgundy shingles over the awning. Oh, man, that's a nice little brick building right there. Three windows wide, porch, front lawn, side yard. I like that. <clears throat> I like that. I'm really liking some of these buildings. Some of these buildings are looking nice. Look at this brick one that's on my right. It's all brick. Oh, man. Look look at this magenta porch on our left. You seen it? It's like a magenta porch. Oh, we got a class of kids walking on our left. We're at 27th. 27th and Curtis. It looks like a class of um, kindergarteners. First graders or kindergarteners? Look at the magenta color on our left. It's like a pink. Look at the lavender color on our left. I like the colors. I'm one for not painting over bricks. But if you do a real good job, like, I don't understand when people paint bricks white. All right, that's just, that's plain. But if you do, like, a nice color, like how they're doing the color coordination thing, nice colors, it, it looks cool. It looks acceptable. We're at 28th and Curtis. Look at that button on my right. I like it. Look at the sidewalk. Look at the details to the sidewalk. Look at this vehicle on my right. Yo, they got a bunch of bumper stickers. Talking about bumper stickers. They got stickers everywhere all over their pickup truck. Now we're at 29th and Curtis. There's a stop sign here. I definitely want to make sure to stop there. Thing is, some blocks don't have stop signs. Some blocks do. Look at this classic Chevrolet truck right there. You see that classic Chevy right there in the corner? It looks nice. The learning source on our right. <clears throat> yeah, some blocks don't have stop signs, so that's that's what kind of gets me off guard. Um, on our right, we have Curtis Park, and it looks like a learning center, like an education center. See with the murals? King M. Trimble Center. We're at 30th and Curtis. Look at those one-story buildings on my left. <clears throat> you see the one-stories? 30th and Curtis. We got a park on my right-hand side. It's called the Mestizo Curtis Park on our right-hand side. Mestizo. M-E-S-T-I-Z-O. Mestizo. <clears throat> Ooh, look at this little Volkswagen. What's this? Ah, it's a coupe. Was it a Jetta? Oh, I got the rims on it. Ah, oh, looking kind of saucy. It's a coupe. What is that? A Jetta? It's a Jetta. A Jetta coupe. I didn't even know they made a Jetta coupe. Dang. 
Well, I'm not a real Jetta enthusiast. I'm not a Volkswagen f- follower, even though we did have a 2002 Volkswagen Jetta back in 2002. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, that's neat. A coupe. And I like the way they had it styled out with the mag rims, with the um, the roof rack. It looked it cool. It had the wide fender flares. It looked it kind of sporty. Okay, we got a court over here. Oh, this is the court with the classic cars next door, right? Yep. All right, let's go right because <clears throat> earlier we came on the block that we're on now. The duster's on my left. I should take a picture of that duster for my pop. I'm, I actually am going to take a picture of that duster for my pop because my pop probably hasn't seen one since he had his. So I'm going to take a picture of the duster. Just so I can text him, like, yo, pop, look at this. It's a duster. Wow, yeah, I just took a picture of it, y'all. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry, we got to make a U-turn here again. My bad. But this time, we're just going to keep on going straight. And go, we'll, we'll make a right coming down the road. Yeah, Duster, Plymouth Duster. <clears throat> he ended up giving that car to my uncle, which was his brother. At at the time, yeah. We had 32nd and Curtis. Let's make this left. There's a little block right here. We might as well go up it. Women's Bean Project on the left hand side. There's a building that says Women's Beans Project. Transforming lives since 1989. Look at that front porch on the right. You see how they had all the stucco? Look at that purple house on our left. Super bright purple. Remind me of Barney. We're at 33rd and Curtis. Go ahead. You're more than welcome to go. We're um, tourists over here. Touring the area. White picket fence on our left. Row homes on our right. Look at that. A new abstract twist on row homes. Got a nice four-wheel drive. Was that a Trooper? A, a Toyota 4Runner. Another bike laying directly in front of us. Downing. We're at Downing, which is the borderline of the neighborhood. Look, at they got a liquor store. They got uh, a grocery store, meats, seafood, dairy. They got a dollar store. They got a Chinese store, Chinese food. Check cash and all of that. Uh, we're on the borderline of the neighborhood. It's called Downing Street. We got a hair and supply business on my left-hand side. All right, we're going to make a right-hand turn coming up on, what's this, Martin Luther King? What does this turn to? And this is Campa. Martin Luther King is right here. So now we're on Campa and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard stops here. It keeps continuing left. AFC. What, what was that, like a medical dispensary? All right, we're at 32nd. And Campa or Champa. I don't like that that new starter thing that they do with the new cars. You know, the new starters on new cars. When you come to a complete stop, it sounds like the car shuts off. And then when they take off, it sounds like the car turns back on. I don't like that. I think that's tacky to have every corner come to a stop. And it, it, it sounds like the car is turning itself back on. I think it's for energy con- consumption. It's trying to pres- preserve fuel, but still. I remember the first time I heard that, I was in Center City, Philly, and it was a Mercedes Benz, and he was at the light, and it's like, it got quiet, and then when he drove off, it sounded like it turned on, like, yo, my man car just shut off on him, it just stalled out on him, and low-key, that was just the new technology, so that goes to show you. We're at 31st, 3100 block of 31st Street, look at those little buildings on my left. It looks like there's a lot of new buildings in this area. I don't know if this area went through a phase of gentrification, because it's real close to downtown, six minutes away. Look at you see them tall buildings in front of us? That's downtown. We got the park on my right-hand side. We got a car behind us. I'm probably going to pull over over here so y'all can see these, these new buildings and so all these cars can go by us. Yeah, it looks like this whole lot on my left there are going to be constructing new buildings. One, two. There you go. Those were the last two of the Mohicans. Look at this on my left. New building. 
Look at the artwork on 30th and Champa. You see the female with a microphone? She's singing. It looked like she, I would say it looked like she had a unibrow, but um, I think that was the lamp post that was making her eyebrow look connected. All right, we got a, looks like, a, what's this, a UPS vehicle behind us? But let me keep pushing. We're on 29th and Champa. We're now on 28th, 28th and Champa. Curtis Park Market on our right. Just past 28th. Abandoned building on our left, 2736 Champa, Denver, Colorado was abandoned. I don't know if it was like an old apartment building or something, but it was on our left, it was abandoned. Church of the Risen Lord on our left. Look at a whole bunch of school kids on our right, little teeny weeny toddlers. They run like the little carts. We have a gentleman on our left picking up his dog poop. That's nice. That's nice of you, sir. We appreciate you, sir. Because we, we was walking in an area where we saw poop everywhere. It was like poop, back to poop. We passed the 26, 26 in Champa. Look at the buildings on our right. I'm talking about an incredible amount of poop. Like, what type of monster was leaving all these poops all throughout the city? Curtis Park, coffee shop on our left, foods and all of that. 25th. You guys don't understand the overabundance of poop. We're at... 25th in Campa or Champa. Yeah, you don't know. I'm talking about like every 20 feet, every 10, 15 feet. Poop, 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 poop. We were having this. We were having a discussion. This FedEx dude behind me is like beeping at me. We were having a discussion. Dude, I'm doing 20 miles an hour and there's a cyclist in front of me. You want me to run him over? Let him ride his bike. Let him ride in peace. La Fiesta. We're passing La Fiesta on our left hand side. Let's make this left hand turn on Park Ave. Yeah, we're coming through a red light, buddy. So you just beeping just to get by for no apparent reason. All right, so let's make this left-hand turn on Park Ave. Park Ave, the 2300 block of Park Ave. We have the cyclist crossing on a red light. He probably doesn't want to get ran over by this UPS vehicle on my right-hand side. I guess we weren't going fast enough for him. So this is a one-way in front of us? Nah, it's a two-way. Two so you got the skyline right there, beautiful skyline. Got some artwork. We got a FedEx vehicle in front of us. Randy's Recycled Cycles. Ah, that's cool. A used cycle store on my right. The Mile High Club. Yeah, that's awesome. They repurpose bicycles. Jurassic World Exhibition. National Western Center. Tickets now available. Wow. Selling tickets. Graffiti on my right. Yeah, boy. Like she's taking a picture on the left. Oh, because she's about to make a delivery. Oh, that's a female FedEx driver. And she, hold on, does she have, oh, for, forget it. That's probably the wife. That's probably the wife. The husband was driving. He said, honey, I'm going to take you to work today. <laughs> he took her to work and he got her carrying the um, package to the front door. That's messed up. <laughs> Look on my left. Three story, three window wide row building. Separated. Then we got the regular town looking homes. Then on our right, we got some modern homes. And on our left, we got a mixture of older, original homes from the neighborhood. Very diverse housing in this neighborhood. We're at 24th, 24th and Stout. Very, very diverse housing. We got a bus behind us, guys. Let me move forward before the bus starts beeping at us. We're doing 20 miles an hour. I think that's fast enough. All right, we're passing 25th. There's no stop sign here. I got to keep going. If not, the bus is going to bully me out of the way. We got a playground on the left-hand side. Stout Street Children's Park on our left. Mustang on our left. You seen that classic Mustang? All right, I'm, I'm going to get out of this lane because there's two lanes, and I can allow this bus to pass us. Now I'm going to merge to my right again. Nineteen eighty-seven Honda Accord on my left-hand side, yeah, baby, all original. Let me see what it what it looked like. A couple of rust spots. It got the stock wheels and everything on it. It looks good. It's it's, it's not in the worst shape. Passing Twenty-seventh Street, Twenty-seventh and Stout. A mixture of buildings. Y'all see that? The street's pretty wide too. I guess because a bus runs through here, so. Right, we're at 28th and stop looking at buildings across the street on my right hand side. 
three-story, really modern-looking homes. And they got a mirror on the side of it, so whoever um, owns the house let somebody paint right on the side of their building. I notice a lot of the younger generation, younger being 80s, 90s kids, they're more open-minded to the arts, especially graffiti being one of the arts. They're more open-minded to that urban art than I think the older generation. I think the older generation is opposed graffiti. They don't understand graffiti, but the newer generation understands it as an art form, an urban art form. Oh, the, the police lights flashed on. It said I was doing 33 miles an hour. That wasn't me. That was this dude on my left. I'm looking at my dash. My dash said 23. That was that dude right there. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Yeah, the lights came on. I saw red and blue lights. I'm like, hold on. That's not me. I had to look down at my dashboard. I'm like, yo, I'm not this slow. I'm not going 33 miles an hour. This is slow. Now I'm doing 20. I was doing 23. So I'm like, what? What? Say what? What, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? All right, we're on 31st and Stout. Look at these buildings on my left. Little row homes. So they got row homes here in Denver too, huh? Look at my right, row homes. Okay, Denver, Denver got row homes. I almost feel like I'm in Philadelphia. I feel like I'm back home. All I gotta do is squint my eyes, turn my head sideways, and smack the back of my head. And I feel like I'm in Philly. We're back at the border. Wow, there's a beautiful mural of a, of a Indian woman. She's, she has feathers and all that stuff. She has the whole Indian head garment on, on her head. Looking nice. Four leaves. The building on the left is four leaves. Supra, Toyota Supra, the new modern Supra on, on the left. And gem food market on the left with a big kid painted right on it. We're on California Street. We just came off of Downing. There's a little trolley station here. Black American West Museum on our right. Wow, that little row home on the corner is the black... What, let me, let me read it. Black American West Museum. That building right there in the corner. At 31st in California. Wow. Somebody turned the row home into a museum. It's either that or the city turned it into a museum. Look at these buildings on my left. Wow. There must have been a lot of lots here. Because I see a lot of original buildings and I see like these new modern dwellings dropped in between the, the original slot. So people probably bought the land and started building. Mount Zion Church of God in Christ on the left-hand side. Seven days without prayer makes one week. Wow, that's deep. We're 30th in California. On our right, we got the W.M. Gilpin School. No student loading on our right. I guess don't don't park up right there. Basically, no, no parking, no loading zone. Look, there's kids in the play set. You see them? Swinging. Swinging was fun. I used to love jumping off the swings when I was a kid. I used to go real, real, real high and then just jump. We're at 29th and California. Look at these little road buildings on my left. Really modern red brick buildings. You see them? Modern, modern, modern. And they're connected, so they're actually a row home. They're connected, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I didn't expect to see row homes here. I mean, they're not, like, identically like ours in Philly, but they're, like, some of the new ones that we got built in Philly. There's developers all in and out of the Philadelphia area trying to make money off Philly. We're at 28th in California. But then as I was traveling across the country, I learned there's developers all across the country trying to take advantage of every big city. You got money? You want to invest? Go to a big city and buy out the cheap, affordable housing within... You know, the 10, 15, 20 minute drive of downtown, buy it, rehabilitate it, put it back on the market, you'll make a killing. We're at 27th in California. We're passing the 2700 block of 27th Street. We had a Walmart 18 wheeler on our left. We got Deep Rock Water Building on our left hand side. Is that like a water department? And Deep Rock Water on our right, yeah. Authentic artisan water, pure Rocky Mountain water. Oh, snap. That was like a water manufacturing business. Denver Motor Vehicle Division. This block on our left is closed off. Passing the 2600 block of 26th Street. I like a lot of the cherry red buildings. Like on my right, you see how it's like the original brick? I like that. That's neat. 
And I like some of their modern buildings. I ain't even gonna fraud. Some of their modern buildings look look all right. They look pretty cool. We're approaching 25th. We're on 25th and California. 